YouTube, what's happening? It's your boy, Dr. James E, the Fresh Pharmacist. And uh, I had a quick question for you. You ever snoop in someone's medicine cabinet when they run around? I mean, it don't matter who it is. I mean, it could be mother, brother, father, sister, boyfriend, girlfriend. So don't worry, your secret is safe with me. I'm pretty sure I already know the answer to the question. So don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's not your fault you had absolutely nothing to do with it. Everyone has to go to the bathroom at some point, wash your hands, do their thing. And what happens? You get into the bathroom, the door locks by itself, the medicine cabinet flies open, all the medicine starts flying at your head, you don't know what to do. You're kind of stuck, it kind of forces you. No, it didn't happen that way. You're the one who opened up the medicine cabinet and decided to be nosy. And now you're feeling shameful. Shame on you. Well, before you start beating yourself up about it, it turns out most people actually go through people's medicine cabinets. Some sources say even between 40 to 50% of people actually will snoop in your medicine cabinet when they go to your house. Think about what kind of treasure trove a medicine cabinet is. You can find out a lot about a person, to what type of medications for what medical conditions they're on that need treatment, what kind of contraceptive medication they're on, even just how vain a person is. You can tell a lot by what's in their medicine cabinet. Face it, the bathroom is the most awesome spot to get your snoop on. Your poking around is virtually unseen by everyone else. You can take as much time as you want, and the water that's running is like the perfect mask to hide what you're doing. I mean, how many times do people just barge in on people while they're in the bathroom? Hey! Rude much? I mean, I guess I can't judge. Everyone's a little bit curious. But I guess the big question is, what is everyone really looking for? Suffice to say, we all kind of know what's wrong to snoop through other people's medicine cabinet. But we also know you're going to keep doing it. But I wonder how many people would actually own up to it if I were to ask them in person if they snooped in other people's medicine cabinets. You down to find out too? Well, let's roll. Right now is trying to see how many people snoop in uh, other people's medicine cabinets right now so like uh, have you ever been in someone's house or maybe your parents or families would you ever or have you ever checked out their medicine cabinet yes of course right. <laughs> okay okay so uh, what were you looking for usually secret drugs or whatever I don't, whatever they're on I don't know I like this kid already let's see what else you got to say <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, did you ever find anything that was out of the ordinary or that made you surprised I guess you could say like acne stuff, but nothing like too bad. Is it usually friends, family, or who are strangers like at a party or something? I don't know, it's like friends. It's my girlfriend, like her friends. Just want to see what she's got in there. <laughs> I got you. So it's not uncommon like if you're dating a new chick, you might just sneak yeah, to see what she's on, right? I don't know what she's on. Okay. All right, so here's a question. If you did find like you snooped in there and you saw that maybe she had like some STD medication, would you ever like call her on it? Oh God, yeah, I'd call her on it. Yeah. What is she? I don't want, I don't want to do that. All right, but you know she's gonna get pissed at you though, right? Yeah. But she's it's still worth it. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. You got, you got it. You got it. Exactly right. Would you ask? Uh, in the bathroom, would you ever check out their medicine cabinet at all? Yes, I have done that before. Is it usually to friends, new boyfriend, girlfriend? Pretty much everybody that I've been in their bathroom. <laughs> so what are you normally looking for when you when you go and check these out? Um, just curious about like maybe what kind of eye drops they use, if they have chapstick, 
Vaseline, you know, like what, what they have in there. <laughs> All right, so nothing regarding any sort of like a prescription medication, never curious what they're on? I've never, yeah, I've never like snooped for that kind of thing, but just kind of see like over the counter kind of thing. So say you found something that was a little bit questionable, would you ever call them on it? I would. I would. I think you should. I mean, especially if it comes to your health, if there's going to be something that's going to be transmitted. Has there ever been anything uh, that's weird that you found in someone else's medicine cabinet at all? Um, hemorrhoid medicine. <laughs> Have you ever snooped in someone's medicine cabinet before? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. You're in his bathroom. Would you be curious about anything he might be on? Psych meds, STD. Give you a reason to be. <laughs> so if he did give you a reason, you I might. Would exit the relationship. Would, would you? Uh, would you call him on it? Yes. I wouldn't look, so I wouldn't see anything. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever snooped in someone's medicine cabinet before? Yes. Uh, it depends. It's random times that I've done it. So sometimes friends, family, sometimes strangers. Just seeing like what medicines they have. If it's something that I know about. Okay. That would give me insight to what may be possible things they're dealing with. New boyfriend, new girlfriend, whatever the case was. Uh, would you ever snoop inside them when you're first starting? Sure. Scope out the medicine cabinet, see what's inside, just to be, you know. I do it all the time. You know, serious? Yeah. <laughs> so what? So what do you look for normally? I just like to see what's in there. <laughs> okay. So what did we learn from today's little excursion? People are going through your stuff. I don't care if it's like a close brother or family member, if it's your closest boyfriend or girlfriend, or just a stranger at a party, if they're alone in your bathroom, they're going through your stuff. Listen, so everyone has their own personal reasons why they go into your medicine cabinets. I mean, some people I interviewed, they did just to check up on their loved ones, make sure that they're okay, no depression or suicidal tendencies. Then again, on the other hand, there are some other women I interviewed and did it just to verify ID. So it's not uncommon after going one of these dates or two, you end up back at the dude's house and a lot of women will actually excuse themselves, go in the bathroom, just to see if the medication lines up with the name that they told them on the app. I mean, you don't want to go on a date with some guy named Timothy and then you get home or you get to his pad and you go in his bathroom and look at his medicine cabinet and it says Jeffrey, as in Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm sure most women don't want to end up on the Channel 9 News as the latest victim from Jeffrey Dahmer or the crazy dude from American Psycho's latest victim. I don't want to get stabbed. Stabbing hurts. Hey, Paul! Ah! Now, I don't condone going into other people's medicine cabinets without their consent, but I understand. All right, so check it out. We all know that you shouldn't go into other people's medicine cabinets, but we all know you're going to keep doing it. So if that's the case, if you're gonna do something wrong, you might as well do it right. So I'm gonna go through the top four groups of medications you might wanna look out for. If you're dating someone new, you just wanna find out more about them or if you wanna protect yourself in that new relationship. Okay, so let's talk about the first group, antidepressants. So which medications are those? Those are gonna be your Prozac, your Sertraline or Zoloft, and your Paxil or Paroxetine. Okay, so the next group up is your STDs, your sexually transmitted diseases. Turns out we are like skyrocketing the amount of STD cases that are popping up across the US. So much so that we continue to lead the highest STD rates of the industrialized world. Do you know what that means? That means we're number one, baby! USA! USA! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, America, you do not want to be known as the slutty country. That's not a label you want. Fellas, put a condom in your wallet. Ladies, put a condom in your purse. Just even if you're not using it, just have it on you, just in case. So just the next case. medications are going to be your antipsychotic or bipolar disorder medications. That's gonna be your Seroquel, your Abilify, your Clozapine, and your Lithium. Those are just a few of them, but just some things to look out for. So the last group are gonna be your anti-addiction medications. That's gonna be your Suboxone, your Methadone, your Disulfiram medications. Some of those can be used for opiate addiction medications, also for alcoholism, which would be the Disulfiram medication. Okay, so I didn't do the full exhaustive list of every medication that you could possibly come across because there's only so many minutes in per episode, right? But at least you have some medications to at least look out for when you're doing your snooping. All right, so check it out. At the end of the day, we all have something we're dealing with. Whether it's some sort of psychological disorder, if it's an STD, a drug addiction problem, 
Sometimes not even medically related. Sometimes people are actually dealing with stuff that's outside of the medical realm, whether they were sexually abused or they have a gambling issue, maybe they beat their significant others. Who knows what the case is, but before just judging them based off what's in their medicine cabinet, you might wanna talk it out with them just to see if you guys are on the same page or not. Again, if there are any questions, feel free to hit me up on the email below. It's also, Check the comments below. I'm kind of curious, have you guys ever stepped in anyone's medicine cabinet before? And if you have, what kind of weird stuff did you find? I'm kind of curious actually. And then lastly, check the subscribe button below. This little red button so you can get more of the videos when they come out. And then give me a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. Until then, it's your boy, Dr. James, the Fresh Pharmacist. I'm out. Hey, you know my